Hi, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get started with Visual Studio Community. I'll show you where to go to download this thing, show you how to install it, how to write your first program, and how to compile your first program. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So, start off with Google, because Google knows all. So, if I come in here and I type in Visual Studio Community, Top link looks like what I need to have. So free IDE and developer tools, Visual Studio Community, click that. All right. So then I want to download Visual Studio Community 2017. Okay. Should start download automatically here pretty quick. Okay, got it. And so you want to download this thing. I already downloaded it before to test things out, but I'll re-download it just so you see what that looks like. Okay, cool. And then uh, once you finish your download, you'll just want to go ahead and run the installer. Okay. Go ahead and hit continue. So it's going to bring up, it's going to take a second or two to download, and then it's going to bring up the screen right here where you can select from these different workloads. And what they are is their uh, customized environment for a particular development activity that you want to do. For us, what we're going to want is we're going to want desktop development with C++. So you can click that, and when you do, you'll notice that the uh, checkbox up here gets checked and that indicates that we're ready to go so you'll want to just go ahead and click install all right so we'll get started with that and just let it do its thing and it's going to take a second so i'll be right back okay well we're back we finished installing visual studio community if everything went well you just watched some blue bars scroll by all right fill up and finish the install and so now you should be sitting at this screen right here so now we can just go ahead and launch uh, Visual Studio click on that and this will start up pretty fast or pretty slow I mean depending on your depending on your machine I've got a solid state drive myself so it goes by pretty quick and myself I'm just gonna demo this so I won't go through the sign-in process I'll just not now, maybe later. Now, this screen right here, you can just choose how you want your ID to look. I like the dark theme, so I'm going to pick that. And development settings, so I'm going to be doing C++, so I'll select Visual C++. And then just click Start Visual Studio. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, we're ready to start writing a program and what I'm going to want to do here is just create a little hello world program to show you you know how this goes and how to do your first compile so what we want to do is we want to create a new project so we'll go to file and then we'll select new project okay now what we'll want is an empty project because uh, that way Visual Studio doesn't automatically include any code or uh, set up any header files for you that you don't want. Right? We want just an empty project and we want to make sure that only the code and files that we create are added to the project. Okay, so click empty project. You can give this project whatever name you want. So I'll call this demo. And then where do you want this to be created. Now what's going to happen is, is when your project is created you'll there'll be a folder named demo that contains your source code. Right? In this case I named my project demo so I'm going to get a folder named demo. And so by default it puts it in to this documents directory uh, inside of Visual Studio 2017. It's kind of hard to find that so what I like to do is I like to click browse and just put it on my desktop. Right? 
point it to my desktop so that way it's really easy to find. Click select folder and then want to uncheck this create directory for solution here. Uncheck that and then once you are verified that you've selected an empty project and you have the location that you want, the new folder that contains your source code that's going to represent your project to be created, go ahead and click that OK button. Okay, it'll take just a sec to set everything up for you. All right, so here we go. Now we're ready to get, get started. So my project is created. Now what I want to do, since it's an empty project, there's no files in here or anything yet, I want to add a new source code file so I can type my program, right? The source code for my program. And, and um, that'll be the, what I want to compile to have my program actually do something. Right? Let, me, let me create a program. So anyway, so what we can do is we can right click on source files and then select add and we want a brand new item, right? Because new program, new project, it's empty, nothing been added yet. So let's select new item, okay? And then from here, what I can do is select what type of file I want and the default here is perfect. I want a C++ file, not a header file. I don't want anything else I want. C++ file, that's gonna be the plain old text file that we use to type our C++ program instructions, our C++ code, okay? And then once I've selected that, I can choose a name for my source code file. And by convention, main is usually what you have for your very first file. That's where your main function sits. So once this is all set up and ready to go, once you're satisfied with that, just go ahead and click add. Okay, so now we can see that I've got main.cpp and this tab has appeared and now I have a place to start typing my text code, or my, uh, my source code, excuse me. So I'll go ahead and just write a basic low world program, right? It's the first program everybody learns to write just to make sure that everything's working. So what I'm gonna wanna do is display something on the screen. So I'm gonna need C out to do that. So I'm going to have to include the header file where C out is defined. So to do that, type pound include. I'll make this a little bigger so you can see it here. Pound include IO stream. Okay, and then I'm going to need to have this main function. This is where all C++ programs start. This is the entry point of the program. Is this first line here where the cursor is blinking? This is where the program is going to start executing from. Now it's going to be a simple program. The only thing I'm going to do is have it decide, say uh, hi there on the you know say hello world to the screen. So how do I do that? I'm going to type std colon c out and then the stream insertion operator and then I'm going to type a string literal hello world okay. and then I'm going to use that stream insertion operator again and then I'm going to type uh, ENDL, right? So end line, so that way the cursor will the next line. And then I'll save that by typing Control S, or you could click the little floppy disk icon, that'll save it also. Okay, now once we're ready to compile and run our program, we just go up here and click on the local Windows debugger right on this little triangle. And then that'll compile and run it. Now the very first time you do it, it's going to give you this little message saying, or this pop-up window saying, this project's out of date. Do you want to build it? Well, yeah, I always want to build it. That's why I clicked on it. So I say, do not show this dialog again. Check that box, and then click yes. Okay. So I was going to compile and run. Oh, what happened? Why didn't I see anything? Well, in Visual Studio, by default, what happens is, is that it compiles, runs your program, and as soon as your program is done running, Visual Studio shuts down the window where it was running, right? The program's finished, so there's no reason to keep the window open uh, anymore. So not the best. So we want to be able to see, we want to be able to see the output of our program. So what we can do is, is we can put a little pause in here Okay, so type standard colon colon cn dot get. Okay, and then I'll hit control s to save it again. 
So what this is going to do is this is going to wait for the user to type a character. Right? In this case, all we'll have to do is just type enter and the program will continue. We'll finish executing. But until I hit enter, the window is going to stay open so I'll be able to see um, the output of my program. So let's go ahead and try this again. Go ahead and click on the local Windows debugger icon up here. All right. So there we go. So there's my output for my program. Everything went great. Program's running. CN.get is waiting for me to hit enter to finish off the program. All right. Hit enter. Program finished. Windows closed. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video. Oh, forgot one one thing. One more thing. How do you find this main.cpp file? Just right click on solution demo and select open folder in file explorer. Okay. Takes me right to the demo folder on my desktop, on my computer, and there's main.cpp right there. But when you're ready to submit your homework, this is the guy that you're going to want to upload. Okay, so there we go. In this video, what we did is we found where to go to download Visual Studio Community, an IDE that is a useful tool for creating programs. Showed you where to go to download it, showed you how to download it, showed you which options to select to install this thing to get you up and start, up and running. Showed you how to make a new project, showed you how to add a source code file to that project, showed you how to type in some source code and compile it, showed you how to make sure that that window stays open by using cn.get, and showed you how to find the source code file. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to stop by my office hours or shoot me an email.